hope you're doing well. Um, I have just got back from a little bikepacking trip, which was awesome. Um, so I figured I would take this opportunity to do a video that I've been meaning to do for ages. So lots of people have been asking me what's the best bikepacking stuff to take, what's the best way to pack it, in which bags, all that kind of thing. So I figured seeing as I have to unpack everything I just took, I might as well show you what's in there and give you a bit of a recommended kit list in case you want to go bikepacking yourself. You know what though, it's absolutely roasting in here and I don't know why I've lent my bike against the sofa so let's go outside and I can unpack everything in the garden. As you can see, I've set my bike up with a bar bag which has got an additional stash pocket on the front, a top tube bag, got the name right this time, uh, a mini frame bag and I've got this big seat pack so that gives me ample of space, oh hello, <laughs> Hello! That gives me ample space for putting all the stuff I need um, for a quite minimalist kind of trip. Obviously if you want loads of changes of clothes and you don't want to be really dirty and stuff then you're not going to fit everything in this but for me this works. In the saddlebag I pack all the stuff that I am not going to need really until I get to where I'm going to camp. So it tends to be my sleep system and sometimes I put my cooking stuff in here or sometimes I put them in the front. When I say sleep system, I don't know why I even called it that. I mean tent and sleeping mat. Sleep system? What's that? Anyway, uh, I always have a lightweight down puffy jacket stashed somewhere and that just happened to be on there because I've just got back from a trip. But let's have a look inside and see what stuff I use for camping. I'm just going to go ahead and take all this stuff out and then I can tell you what it all is in more detail. This is my uh, cooking stuff, my cooking system. Pots and pans and a little mini stove, gas and stuff like that. Spare items of clothing. This is a pedal and gilet that just got stuffed in there. Very important. Whiskey. We will get to the sleeping system soon. A coffee filter and a little good luck charm my daughter gave me. I always have a head torch. I went bikepacking once without a headlamp and it was really really annoying so always take one of them. Bikini bottoms. Uh, merino top. This one's from Chrome Industries. These stay warm even if they're wet so I always pack merino base layers. Another merino top because I don't have a sweater so this one's by Mab. This is an eye mask and um, what are they called? Why can I never remember what stuff's called when I'm doing a video? earplugs <laughs> it's an eye mask and earplugs always 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 need this when you're camping this is my tent it is the outkit soloist it's still really damp because i only just packed it up this morning retails at 124.99 weighs roughly a kilo you can put it up in a couple of minutes this tent is brilliant this is my sleeping mat it is well actually it's dave's sleeping mat it's better than my one. <laughs> this is a Thermarest Neolite Air, I think. You can pack that down a lot smaller. I just didn't fold it well this morning. But I mean, getting a good night's sleep is just so vital. So I, I wouldn't skimp on things like a sleeping mat. Same goes for a pillow. Let me grab that. Well, I think the pillow must be in the front bag, but um, I always travel with an inflatable pillow always travel, always bike pack with an inflatable pillow, it's about that big. So that's everything from the seat pack. I'm going to move to the front, show you what's in there. <laughs> You're so cute. So um, obviously I've got some sunglasses, kind of need those, thanks Smith. Um, always a beanie and or cycling cap to keep warm but also because my hair always looks terrible when I'm bike packing so hats. Here we have a waterproof jacket. Always, always, always take a waterproof jacket even if the forecast says it's not going to rain. Just take one. Random food. Always take food. Ah, a tip on the food as well. Always take at least two meals. I would take one that needs cooking and one that you can eat without cooking. Uh, when I was on my latest trip, the first night my plans changed quite a bit. I ended up having to just eat, um, this sounds grim but it was fine. I had to eat, you know those um, rice pre-cooked rice pouches. I just had some flavoured tuna with a rice pouch and I ate it with a spork right out of the pouch. It was fine but the point is if I'd have only had pasta or something that needs cooking it would have been a nightmare because I didn't have access to uh, water at that point so I couldn't boil any water for cooking pasta. 
So always take a meal you can eat without water. Here is the little pillow that I was telling you about. This is an Alpkit pillow. It's 12 pounds, I think. I just bought this. I've already got another pillow, but I didn't like it very much, so I bought this. You can pack it down much smaller than I just had it, so it's just, I packed in a hurry this morning and I knew I was coming home, so it didn't really matter. If I was carrying on bike touring right now, then I would have made sure that I packed all the stuff properly in all the right bags and all that sort of thing. What else have we got? Sleeping bag. This is Dave's sleeping bag. It is from Decathlon, a very thin summer sleeping bag. Just make sure that you check your sleeping bag rating. This one only goes down to 11 degrees. I certainly wouldn't take this um, anywhere that I was gonna be camping up high or if I was gonna get cold. I normally borrow my dad's sleeping bag if I'm going anywhere more extreme because he has a really fancy rab one and it's awesome. Oh, I've got some dirty bike shorts in here because I just got back from camping. But generally what would be in here would be my off the bike stuff. So you've already seen I had a couple of base layers. I also always take some lightweight trousers. These are my favorite lightweight North Face trousers that I bought in Japan. I love them, they are just, I just love them. I also always take a pair of sandals because um, if your shoes get wet, you want to take them off. And also because when you wake up in the morning or if you need to go to the toilet, Normally, if you put your bike shoes on and walk about in the grass, they get wet immediately because of all the dew. So it's always a good idea to have some spare shoes. I've got these. They're very unfashionable Tevas, but hey, I like them. Ah, tools. So I always have a really comprehensive toolkit when I go bikepacking. I wanna be able to take care of myself, not rely on anyone else, even if I am with other people. I always take two tubes, even though I'm actually running my bike tubeless, because if it all goes totally wrong and you need to put a tube in, well, what if it all goes wrong with the other wheel and you need to put another tube in? So two tubes always. I have got this um, Dyna plug. That is for fixing tubeless tires if you have a hole and it comes with some spare plugs. I also have the old school way of fixing uh, tubeless tyres, which is with these anchovies. And I have a kind of stabby device that goes with them, this. I've also got patches. If you had a really big hole in your tubeless tyre, you could actually glue a patch to the inside of it. I've done that before and it works. I've got tyre levers, I've got a chain breaker, I've got Allen keys, and I've got some spare sealant in case it all goes out. What else? I think that's it. Did I show you the glue? You don't need to see the glue. I didn't mention my pump. It's uh, it's attached there. So I've got two water bottles, one here and one there. I do not drink out of that. I use it for refilling that one. Honestly, just two small bottles is not enough water. It's a nightmare having so little water. I think I need to either strap some bottle cages to my fork or I'm going to get a custom frame bag and I'm going to put a hydration bladder in there. In the front bag, what have we got? Ah, leftovers from last night's dinner. More pasta, bare socks, porridge, arm warmers. And finally, very importantly, a real map so that you don't get lost. I would advise, however, that you take a map for the area that you're going to. This is a map of Dartmoor. I just went to Cornwall. So what's in here? I can't actually remember. Let's have a look. So that is mainly energy bars. Thanks, Maxi Muscle. Bits and pieces of food. Obviously, I've eaten most of my food because I'm at home now. A knife, a spork, spare cable ties, toothbrush and toothpaste. I shouldn't be in there with all this grimy stuff, but well, I've got all my sort of charging devices, cables, headphones, a comb that is totally rubbish. <laughs> and finally, in the top section, I have my GoPro, sometimes my bike computer, I don't know where that is. And my last piece of equipment, this buff. I always take one of these and this is my favorite because you can have it over your eyes when you're sleeping. You can stay nice and warm. And when you're traveling on trains in the UK, you can cover your face, which you have to do at the moment. Before I go, 
I'm just going to show you the stuff I've got for cooking because I said I was going to show you that in more detail and I didn't so I'll just grab it this is an Alp kit set I'm not sponsored by Alp kit by the way I just like their stuff I bought this um, this is an Alp kit stove kit it's just got various different pots and pans it's titanium I've got some gas in there um, an MSR pocket rocket or is it the micro rocket this is a kind of lighting device this is socks Oh, okay, sorry socks. These, I think I bought in Germany, but they're Swedish design. You open them up and they're like that. They're cool, aren't they? They're made by Folder Cup. And that's your lot. Um, I hope you found this video interesting. Uh, I'm going to get my tent out now and dry it because I didn't dry it this morning when I packed up and ditto my sleeping mat. Um, always a good idea to take care of your stuff. The last tent I got out of my loft was all mouldy I felt terrible so I'm going to take care of my stuff and put it all away properly whilst I'm planning my next adventure I hope you're planning something fun if you've got any cool ideas for um, bike packing trips for me in the UK I'm going to be staying in the UK uh, do let me know because I would love to know about all your routes and ideas and suggestions so leave them in the comments below and if you like the video give me a thumbs up and subscribe see you later bye